a Super Mario assignment. Um, you need to go into Desmos. If you don't know how to get there, just Google D-E-S-M-O-S. -S. I assume you do. Um, and you may have to look for a background of Mario. Now, these ones are a little harder to come by. Um, I found some Mario 1 levels, like the full extent, so you'll notice the picture will be very, very long and kind of poor resolution because it's such an old game. Um, but you might be able to find better ones in Google Images. It's up to you. Um, but for our course, I've already provided you with some of the pictures. So I'm assuming you've downloaded the picture. You need to go to Add Item. It's the top left button here. Let's scroll down to the image. Okay, and we click on the image. It takes us to my computer. And I have Super Mario. There it is. Whoops. Sorry, I skipped over it. It's right on it. Mario GIF. Okay, so here it is. And it's very rectangular, very long and narrow. Okay, so not the easiest to see. Now I'm going to zoom in. And again, you'll notice that it's very pixelated. It's an older game. So I'm going to move it up just a little. I want it to be above the x-axis because I'm going to be using linear and quadratic equations. So um, if you've ever played the game, again, you can kind of make out here's Mario at the beginning castle, some of the bullets in the land he has to jump across, and it's pretty long. It's a long level, and the goal of this assignment will be to get to the end of the level at this pole. And get to it. and there's some turtles and other things in your way okay so I'm just gonna start us off here in this one ooh, a lot of scrolling we're gonna start with a linear equation so I have Mario here um, and I want to input a linear equation so I want Mario to run because it's a horizontal line we're just looking at y equals 2 is 1 too high 1 is too high so 0.5 maybe still too high I'm gonna change the color so it's easier to see black is a lot easier over that image okay and maybe 2.3 there we go and you can kind of see this is a line putting Mario's trajectory from his head and I don't want him to run off the cliff so maybe I want him to stop roughly around negative point eight looks like he's off the cliff okay so somewhere like negative eight point one so I have to put a domain on this. So to put a domain on this, uh, I'm going to have to play with, uh, I'm going to have to keyboard here. Okay, when we click in the expression, let me hit the ABC. I want to play with the domain, the X value, since it's horizontal. So we have to click on these curly brackets here. So we click these curly brackets. Okay, and I want Mario to start. It looks like Mario starts at negative 9.58. So that's my farthest value to the left, so I'm going to type in negative 9.58, okay, is less than, and if you notice we have a warning sign, and the, the graph of the line has disappeared because it doesn't quite understand our expression, so until we do this properly, it'll disappear. We need to be less than and equal to x, and there we go, it looks like the line has stopped right at Mario's head, wonderful, and I want him to run to negative 8.1. So I'm going to duplicate that on the right of the x, I'm going to say x is less than and equal to negative 8.1, and boom, we have our linear line. And that's a you can put linear lines in many different fashions, but that's good. That shows Mario running. The next step is I need Mario to jump. Okay, so I need him to jump from here to here. And there's a couple ways I could do with this. I could play with maybe a quadratic in uh, vertex form. That might be an easy way to do it. Plus K. Okay. Or I might want to play with a quadratic that's in um, factored form. Yes. And I can put sliders in for all of these. Okay. Now, you'll notice none of these quadratics are showing up. They're over here now. We need to zoom in, and we've got to move them far, far to the left. So I know a vertex form, if I move my h value okay, in a this direction, the quadratic comes over. Wonderful. And it only goes to negative 10, so I got lucky. You might even have to play with the uh, parameters of your sliders to move things over. For us, it was okay. It worked out. Our quadratic, I'll make the vertex about here. Now I need the a value to flip. Okay. And I can almost squeeze it in enough. That looks pretty good. It looks like that's where it's jumped. I want to drop it down a little because in the game, Mario really wouldn't jump that high. And you can either play with sliders or you can input these values yourself. Okay. Um, again, I'm going to have to move it again back to the left. So you're going to have to play with these until you get an actual value. And you notice I'm kind of jumping over. So I'm going to have to manually do this. Let's go 7.1. Whoops, I'm going in the wrong direction. Let's go 6.8. Oh, what happened there? 7.1. Let's go back to 7. Let's see what it was. Oh, I wasn't on 7. That's the problem. I was at... What was 7.8. Let's go 7.7. .7. Oh, it's moving quite a bit. So 7. Point, let's say 6.5. 7. 7.5. Sorry. Ah, that's much better. Even I have trouble with it. So this kind of looks like where Mario stops um, his jump or his run. And we're going to start his jump and then we're going to end it kind of on this platform. So again, I'm going to play with the domain. Um, and what will help is I look at the end of the old domains. 
uh, I can probably start my new domain exactly there. So negative 8.1 okay, is less than and equal to x. It kind of works out. Maybe I can extend my linear line just a little. Other way. Um, seven. Oh, what am I doing here? One. Okay. All right. And then I maybe want it to stop at negative seven. Negative seven point four four. So same idea. Less than or equal negative seven point four four. I might want all the colors to be the same. I can play with those ideas. Okay, it's completely up to you how you want to go through this level. Well, there's Mario running. There's this quadratic. You can make this much more clean looking. I've clearly just done it. I want to keep it short for the sake of the video. Um, and then you would just kind of continue this all the way to the end of the video. Uh, and again, here was our factor form. We could have written it that way with our factor form. Um, okay, and if you have to put in more expressions, um, uh, there's you can write them. You'll have to convert them yourself. Look at other videos to do that. Uh, if you look at the other Desmos assignments, they go into a little more detail on how to put in maybe a factor, a standard, and a, and a vertex form, all three forms, to show that they are actually equal.